Good day, folks. Welcome back, and Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. And today we're going to do something a little different here. We're going to do an unboxing. And as you can see, I got this box here, and it's, I wrapped it all up nice just for the video. So I hope you enjoy that. Yeah, Merry Christmas. So in this box should be 15 antique bottles, which I purchased for $25. Okay, so I haven't... I got a pretty good idea what's in there, but I haven't really had them out of the box since I purchased it. So this is going to be like the, the first time all these have come out of the box. And we'll, maybe we'll get a, a little more info on them as we go. Uh, like I say, I got a rough idea what's in there. A couple I know for sure. And <laughs> so anyways, uh, this should be interesting. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh... Let's get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna move over here. Got my knife here. And let's uh, give that a nice little cut down there. Now we won't uh, <laughs> we won't keep this paper off the table. We'll rip that right off there too. There, check that out. And then I got it taped up here too, so we'll cut that tape. Wrapped up good. I'll tell you, it was tricky wrapping this too. <laughs> With uh, those bottles in it, so. Alright, so here we are, we're opened up and... I don't want to give you too much view of what's in there, but... Okay, so here's a, here's the first one right here. Let me get back around here. And here's another one there too. So first off, two penny inks right there, check it out. I haven't found any of these this year, so there's two that I purchased. Last year I found six of them, and there's two different uh, colors. Pretty cool. Nice to have those. I don't know what they go for. I think they go for about five or six dollars at an antique shop. Nothing too crazy wild, but pretty neat. Alright, here's a bottle here. So that's two, and this makes number three. Now this is E. Hartshorn and Sons, established 1850, Boston. So this is a druggist bottle. It is, yep, yeah, it's blown. Yep, blown with a tooled lip. It's probably, I don't know what the age is going to be on it. Late 1800s or early 1900s. Nice bottle. I'll probably have to get some uh, pictures to put at the end of the video if you want to get a better look at these. Okay, there's a Larkin soap bottle, uh, Buffalo. It's blown with a tool lip. I found a couple Larkin's bottles in my last video actually, and they were both different than this one. So that's kind of neat. Alright, we'll set that one there. Here's another one here. That's a weird shape. Almost wedge shaped. It's a blown bottle. Tooled lip. Chicago, USA on that edge. And what's that say? Five drops. Number four. No idea exactly what it is. Must have been a medicine of some sort. Five drops. Chicago, USA. Neat shape. Blown in a mold bottle. Put these over here, maybe, so we can see them. Alright. Do another one. Here's a little, uh, druggist bottle. Looks like, uh, Vargas and Company Boston. Blown in a mold. Small one. So far, I'd say I'm doing pretty good. This one looks like it's uh, got a manganese glass color to it. A little bit purple, maybe, that Larkin bottle. Um, here's an ink. Nice uh, Carter's. 
This is 89 on the bottom. Kind of like a frosted aqua blue. Blown in a mold. Pretty crude one, actually. That's nice. And, okay, here's another one. What's this one say? Let's see, it says trade mark. Okay. Rippins. Something. Can't quite make it out. Rippins Chemical Company, New York. Blown in a mold once again with a tool lip. A BIM. Blown in a mold bottle. This has a gray issue to it. Generally would put that, you know, 1915 to 1925 is the general rule of thumb, but there's uh, lots of those before that time as well, and lots after. But that's a pretty good time frame to drop that into. Here's one here, a little one with a cork in it. What's this one? Dr. Bell's Medical Wonder, Kingston, Ontario. Blown in a mold with a tooled lip once again. Don't want to go through these all too fast, but there that one is. That's got the Dominion glass mark on it. It's going to be 1928. No, that's not blown in a mold. That's machine made. See, I wouldn't have, uh, if I hadn't have checked that, I would have thought that was uh, blown in a mold, but it isn't. It's machine made. Dr. Bell's Medical Wonder, Kingston, Ontario. All right, so far we got nine here. Six more to go. Here's one here. Hmm, Bailey's original. My, that's a nice one to find. All right, well, we're all set for that. Let's uh, crack right into that one, boys, I'll tell you. <laughs> My Bailey's is always good. You guys ever try that? Let's get that into us. Alright, let's have a nice little drink here, little drinky drink. Boy, that's a almost a five dollar bottle right there. You definitely get my money's worth tonight. <laughs> okay, what else we got in here? You know, how'd they get in there? <laughs> man, oh man. Boy, there's everything, everything under the sun in here. Look, there's a necktie. Jeez, let's keep going here. What's this one here? Okay, now we're talking. This here is a blue ribbon beverage. Look, I can see there's a flash crack or something in it right there. St. John, New Brunswick. Blue ribbon. You know, I found one of these bottles in uh, video number 43, I think it was, with the Rumford chemical bottle. And I've got that right here. I knew this one was in there. And there's the one I found there. See, it just says blue ribbon up around here. And I wasn't sure what it was, but... Now I know. Interesting. From St. John, New Brunswick. I suspect that that might have been a, uh, a local bottle. And sure enough, it is. What else we got here? Here's a C.F. Cushman... Rock, Massachusetts. This bottle not to be sold. Nice blob top. Blown in a mold. That's an oldie there, I would say. Nice bottle. And here's an interesting one. Oxo, four ounce. Check that bad boy out. Nice color. Got a ding right there in it. A little bruise, you can see that, yeah. And that's uh, blown in a mold, tooled lip. Not very uniform, it's pretty crooked. Check that out. Interesting. Nice bottle. Here's another one. We got a Dr. True's Elixir. Established 1851. Auburn, Maine. Family laxative. Worm Expeller, 
So there's a real old one there. It's embossed on uh, three of the four panels. And yeah, it's blown in a mold. Nice small opening on it. Nice bluish color. Yeah, nice looking bottle. Now most of the ones I find are uh, newer, probably like from the 20s or 30s. Clear glass and they don't have the writing on the edges like that. So that's nice. We've got two more bottles here, folks. Maltine Manufacturing Company, Chemist New... Okay, I got cut off there for a second. Here we go, the Maltine Manufacturing Company, Chemist New York. Another nice blown bottle. Yep, that is nice. Happy to have that one. I know these are quite common. Look, $5 on the bottom of that. I actually purchased these from a guy that uh, used to own an antique shop. So that was nice. I've got one last bottle here, folks. Check it out. This one's got a $40 price tag on it. Registered Black Bear Brand. Cross and Company. Vancouver, B.C. And it's got a spider in there, so I'm going to have to clean these out. <laughs> Eight fluid ounces. That's a nice old bottle there. May even have some embossing on the base. Can't quite make it out. Nice bottle. Alright, so I'm not going to spend too much more time here. Because uh, my camera is pretty much full. So There's uh, what we're looking at there, folks. 15 bottles, 25 bucks. I'd say I did pretty good. Yep. Alright. So I'm going to let you go for now. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll take a few pictures, put them up at the end of the video. If you want to see those and a little better view of the bottles. Alright. Have a good Christmas, everybody. Over and out. What?